So throughout this video, I'm self-aware of the fact that I'm gonna look like a goofball, but I promise you the room comes out very shockingly nice. Like none of us expect it to be this good. Or if you're lazy, you know, you could just skip to the end mark. Put it, I'll put text at the bottom if you want to see what the end looks like. If you're interested in seeing some of the challenges we faced as uh, people who know nothing about this, then I highly recommend watching the whole video because there were a lot of fun parts we had. Enjoy the video, guys. This is gonna be the beginning of a room renovation. Gonna get that thing out and uh, make this room look a lot, lot better. I didn't film it, but we were able to get the bed frame out. It was the hardest thing on earth. It had the weirdest looking screws. I'll show you what they look like on the screen. Uh, just absurd, but we got it done. Getting rid of mystery stains. You did a good job vacuuming. Maybe you should do a vacuuming company. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. After only a minute of cleaning, we got distracted by every man's weakness. Is that all your shit? Or is That's a village? village. That's a cool ass village. Yeah, no, it was very nice that I was there. Oh, well, good morning. This is the day after we moved the desk. I was way too tired to set up the monitors, hence why they're on the ground. But I have my coffee and we're ready to get that going. And then, yeah, and then we'll see how the couch will fit in theory. This is future Jagger letting you know that I did get a couch for free. That Jagger just wasn't all there in the moment. There are moments in life I really wonder how I got into college. So my PC was not turning on, right? I'm like, what the hell? And I start to wonder, oh my god, the outlet doesn't work. And then my dumbass realizes, the switch right there, over there, basically the power switch, was off. And I forgot to turn it on. So I plug it back in, and right now, we are going to turn it on and see if it works. The reason I'm crossing my fingers is because if this doesn't work, I have to move everything. Hence why I'm so happy when it does work. <sighs> Easy. <laughs> it's coming along. And the YouTube saga continue. Fuck me! <laughs> Look! We got Smash going! This is beautiful. Progress. It's being made. And there's gonna be a giant mushroom right here. Right here! Can you imagine that? 8 by 8 feet. That's massive! That's massive! That's amazing. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Great update! We're getting it. Come on, focus. We're getting it. Thanks, I felt right. Again, you're gonna you're gonna see it in the video later on. I'm just really excited right now. <laughs> Look at him! It's a bomb bomb. I don't know how the hell to say it. Bomba? He's so cute. My our plan might be take all my because I have a bunch of other pillows like that. Like here's chain chomp. I have a banana pillow and other ones are all at college right now. Put like one in each shelf. I'll have to clear it out. And even then, I think I have too many pillows. Unless I put them on the surface. That looks so cool. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. This could be so nice. Here we go. We've set up down the corner a nice little shelf. We only have a few pillows, and they're gonna switch over time. And we're gonna get more when I go back to Yukon. But for now, I think this is a good spot for them. Now oh, it's already recording. So I have to touch anything else? No, you just have to hold it and point. It's already recording. Alright. It fit inside there, huh? Yeah. Barely. Barely. Wow. Alright, I'll put it down and close the door. Where do I put it down? That's a good question. <laughs> you ready for the hard part? Hey, am I going up? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nick. Yeah. Watch my cabinet back there, over there. And there we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Alright. Am I done? Yeah. Would you like to be in the video as a thank you? Yeah. No? Okay. So, here we are, sitting on the new couch, eating at a table. This is not what's going to continue to look like, but it's progress. The next game plan is to measure for the blackout curtains I'm going to get. Got to make sure I don't know what time of day it is so I can slowly lose my life in a video game and not think of the consequences that come of that. It may be argued that I don't make the best financial decisions, but at least I make them with the intent to make this place look cooler. So. We did just buy another pillow. I already had enough, but uh, I saw him. It cost me a solid $33. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's so unevenly weighted. This pot isn't big enough for him. We're gonna go put him into the shelf. Put him right under him here. He's not gonna fit. He's too tall. Look at him. He's too tall. He's too tall. Horizontally. Well, that kind of works. Another thing we bought is this. I kind of need an extension cord. What we're gonna do is untie this and light it up together and we're gonna get my childish reaction because I love these things. Well, not extension cords, no. Things that light up. So we ventured off to Walmart. I didn't film that though because I have public anxiety and we got the blackout curtains. Now we're putting them up but as you can see they're not exactly 100% blackout. 
Honestly, I don't really mind that much though because they'll still block a glare from coming on my screens, which was the main worryment. All right, so I came back home for the weekend to retrieve two packages. What to open them? I'm not gonna bring them back to campus, obviously, because they're staying here. This, which I got from Displate, and I have two of these. One's a gift for Kate and one is going on the wall. And also the big mushroom came. I'm waiting for Nick and Big P to come over to help me put that up because those tiles are gonna take some time. And also I think they wanna see it or I'm just using them for labor, one or the other. Ooh, they feel, they feel heavy. Ooh, I see one. Dude, it looks cool though. I gotta take this plastic film off. I feel like it's messing with it. And then this is the one I got for Kate. I saw a little bit of it. Watch out. Isn't that beautiful? Just a warning if you guys are gonna buy from Display, I end up having to take off this poster from the wall with the, the adhesive magnet and actually took the drywall off with it because they're so strong. It does come with some protective film, but I was an idiot and I didn't use it. So if you get this, definitely use the protective film. Fortunately, I was painting the walls later in this video anyway, but yeah, just a warning. Perfect. All right, now we unbox the tiles. I don't, I'm kind of scared which way to open them though. This hopefully won't take too long. I'm kind of worried that this is either gonna be a 15 minute project or like or three hours. Yeah. I don't really know. Oh shit, I hit my dick. Oh, it comes with, it comes with something. A bomb. It came with the paper. This is the building phase. You remember when I joked that this was gonna either take 15 minutes or three hours? Well, it ended up taking three hours. It probably would have gone a lot faster, but we kept messing around with each other and getting distracted in our own conversations. You can see we left the outlet alone the whole time. It's because between all of us, we weren't sure how the heck to tackle that. The last one. Nice. Oh, gap. dude, my bad. I forgot to start. Or like I double clicked it. It wasn't going. <laughs> no, no. I like it. And then look, we have this thing right here. We just go, wee. It's come out well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's looking chill. That was good. Yeah. Don't blame me if you don't like it. We just made a very impulsive decision, well, yeah, to paint the room. So right now we're starting on this wall. We're painting it like a light gray. I wanted to go a darker gray, but it is my mother's house and she said no. I mean, it made sense. She didn't want to look like a funeral home with the black curtains that fell down. <laughs> so very, very sad. We had to take down the big shroom. This is because we are painting the room. Fortunately, the tiles are pretty easy to come off and felt right was nice enough to send me more adhesive tabs. But yeah, it kind of sucks that three hours of work and we're gonna have to do this again. But that's what you get when you make impulsive decisions to paint a whole room. Well, my friends have left. They have helped a good amount, as you can see. Room, pretty gray looking. It's coming out darker than I expected. Kind of sucks to take down the whole mushroom though. We got the tiles all sorted out. Be able to put those back up when it dries completely. I got the window open, get the ventilation in because we all started feeling lightheaded after we closed the door. Good morning, it is 9 a.m., maybe a little early, 8 a.m., I don't know. The most annoying thing about, by the way, coffee, golly cup, look at it, nice. The most annoying thing about painting this is the fact that you have to move things from one side to the other side of the room. I didn't just empty out the room, I've just been shifting things. And now as you can see behind me, we have that whole wall to get to, which has the desk and everything on it, on the wall. Gonna have to shift it all. So one thing I found out about paintings, you have to like remove the outlet covers and now I have to remove this vent. And this vent has not been removed since the day we moved in here like, I don't know, eight years ago. And you should already see how nasty that thing is. I'm kind of scared to see what happened when I open it. So I decided to video and see if anything interesting would happen. Mm. Oh my God. Ew, that is, ugh. that is horrific. Ew, holy shit, I should put a mask on. I felt like Luigi from Luigi's Mansion vacuuming this thing up. Definitely the grossest part of this whole project. So I just finished the first coat, right? Looks very gray, nice. Uh, came out a little darker than I expected. And now I'm starting to realize I need to do the second coat. Probably gonna start on that wall. I did not realize how long this was gonna take. I thought this would be like four hours maybe done. And I'm pretty sure I'm hitting like eight hours. So because of this all in the way, you know, paint wet and my bedroom looking like this right now because all the storage. This is my eating spot. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's, that's what ate Crossed on stream. But the whole room is done. My sanity is on the verge of collapsing, but it is done. There's probably one or two spots I missed and I might or might not jump out the window when I see them. But yeah, now we gotta move everything back. 
Why did I? Why did I do that? It's gonna pay off. It's gonna pay off in the end. It's gonna look really cool and I'm not gonna be upset that I spent 10 days doing this. All right, with the help of Nick, we've kind of like formed an idea of what oh, the room's shit. gonna look like. What? Um, there's like a big board back here. Well, we're putting the desk now together now. I'll, I'll figure it out. We're finally putting the curtains back up after they've fallen. All right, so I found another mistake I've made. I have to now take the tape off. But now this shit's in the way. So I guess I could just move it, but I'm a lazy fuck, and I don't want to do that. Nick's getting the tape off, but as you can see, blinds, pretty effective. Wait, the light off? Holy dark. It's some light still comes in, but that's all right. All right, now we have put up the curtains for the closet, so it doesn't look as jank, and I can hide all my messes in there. Let's see what's behind curtain number one. Mess and Jagger. All right, now with the curtains finished, our next step is to basically take all these cool pillows out, flip that shit over, smack some lights on it, and then they'll light up. Cool LED lights, those LED lights. If you're interested in doing this yourself, I literally just took the LED lights and scotch taped them on the back of the bookshelf like you see right now. All right, I'm gonna cut the video and I'll start it again when it's finished and we can turn the lights on and see what happens. Please don't break. Dude, look at that. Tell me that's not amazing. Okay, different color, green, green. I said, no. Oh. Huh, oh, it's a changing color. It's changing colors, look at that. Okay, small issue. I already lost the remote that controls the color to that and it's stuck on green. I don't like green, but it's been like that for 30 minutes and I, I don't know where the remote is. I have so much crap around, I can't see it. So, uh, that might just stay green for the rest of the video. Fun thing, I found the remote, finally. Go on, turn on. Oh, I swear to God. Oh, I was saying the wrong button, I'm dumb. Look, I don't like green anymore. I'm sick of green, I saw it for the last four hours, five hours, however long it's been. But, oh, look at the light in the corner too. Oh, that's dope. All right, I'm happy now again. We had to cut a hole in the back of the desk in order to make the desk mount fit. Look at that <laughs> assembly Easy. line. Easy. I feel like 90% of the things being built is just gonna be Nick. Be like my handyman. <laughs> just look back you at the film. You get voice at the end. <laughs> <laughs> this was definitely the most stressful moment of this whole project because Nick had to put a screwdriver in the back of my monitor. Obviously I never doubt Nick though and look, they look amazing. I believe this is day four, I don't know. Uh, I temporarily have a mustache to annoy Kate today. I don't like it, so I'm gonna shave it later. I just have it to spite her. And the Doom Honors, as you guys know, is now set up. Look how cool that is. Isn't that, look at all the desk room I have. Like, I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice. Like, like, look, look, that's my hand. I don't have that small of a hand. So now I have to basically hook that up. And then after that, we're gonna put the tiles back up on the wall and get the masterpiece up. As you may see behind me, there is a hole in the wall and I am, <laughs> and I am lazy. So I have another solution. Yeah, this goes right here, right? And then, where, well, a hole. There's a hole in the wall? I don't see a hole in the wall. All I see is the best Rainbow Six Siege operator. Smoke. That's gonna be a problem when we sell the house. All right, so excuse if I sound slow talking right now. I just got my wisdom teeth out, so it's hard to communicate. But I got this done. The only issue is, is the way it was set up this time. Excuse the dogs. Uh, this comes between two tiles. Let's see here. Turn them on. Okay, they keep doing the stupid flash. How do I stop that? I don't know. Ooh! Ooh! I'm having a wee issue. I don't know if extension cords do this intentionally because you're not supposed to put two extension cords in one wall socket. Ah, it's so dark you can't really see. Alright, I got my little flashlight. As you can see, I have one in there right now, right? And then, oh my god, because this bottom piece is too stiff and it runs into this. <sighs> okay, so by this point, my wisdom teeth hurt so much I couldn't even speak, so hence why I just was pointing. I'm basically just, oh wow, I look sad. I'm basically just taping the lights uh, onto the bottom and then I'm gonna put them around the curtains. First time this whole time, something went decently easily, and I kind of like it. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, right? It's kind of yeah. lit. So Phil and I have come across an issue. Uh, it's impossible to turn these off because one remote turns off the other but turns on the other. So, right? So that somehow turns off that. What? It doesn't even make sense. I don't think there's any way this is going to work out. Boom. Oh, how'd you do it? I hit on and off a bunch of times. Just um, yeah, I think I got <laughs> deleted lucky. the battery. No, no, don't turn it back on. 
I've lost count of days, but I do know this is the second day after my wisdom teeth are out, so that's why I can't talk or smile much. It starts to hurt. But we are putting up photos of Kate and I. Let me, let me get them. Now we just have to get that design up on that wall. So here it is. It looks pretty nice. The only issue I have is that I didn't completely center it with the desk, as you can see. But honestly, I really don't care. I think it looks good right there. Next thing is, I don't know what I'm going to put there. Okay, the final piece. Something big, something amazing has come in the mail today. Huh? Yeah, you have no idea what the hell it is, do you? But I do, and I know exactly where it's going. It is gonna go right above the TV, right there, and then we're done. I basically have to clean and vacuum and shit, but we're done. Ready? Three, two, one. That was very anti -climatic. Oh, it's on my side. Fuck you guys, I get to see it first. Holy shit, you are big. Look at that! See it? That's so cool. Alright, I'd like to end this video by saying thank you to everyone who gave me free things like the couch, the TV stand, etc. The wall tiles. Even with that, this room, I still paid for a lot of things that cost a lot of money. I'd also like to thank the viewers because without you guys, I couldn't get a lot of these things. I'm hoping now with all this, you know, I'll start making a lot more content for YouTube and Twitch. So expect a lot more consistent videos than you have in the last couple months. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.